I am here in Hartwell, Georgia, just outside of Elberton, Georgia, which would be considered the their self-proclaimed granite capital capital of the world is in Elberton, Georgia. But behind me here is the Georgia Guidestones. These things are very mysterious, if you want to say. Um, you'll hear about the Georgia Guidestones on all types of cons conspiracy type of channels because there's a lot of conspiracy behind it. They are... So the man... I'll just give you just a quick rundown. I may mess it up, but the man who had these erected or, or came to Elberton because of the uh, ability to get granite and to have these erected, he was a mysterious fella. I don't even think they really knew what his real name was. But he had these erected. And on them are inscribed in many different languages the same thing. So you'll have this, there'll be an inscription here, but it'll be, there's, each side has a different language. The one that is the... Uh, uh, the English side, so you have hieroglyphic, you have all kind of different languages. It says the same thing. The, the inscription, so it, it becomes kind of a, some people would say it's like an occult thing or, or something like that. I don't think so. I don't know exactly. This is the one that really gets the occult or the conspiracy people going is the maintain the very top and there's 10 things here maintain humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature that's what it also says it says that in all these other languages and so the conspiracy part of it is that they're going the conspiracy part, I don't, I, this is not a conspiracy. This is not my conspiracy. I'm just trying to convey what I've heard. Is that the conspiracy is that they're going to try to eliminate humanity back to 500 million in perpetual balance with nature. I don't know. All I know is this is a very, uh, it's a very intriguing sight. Most people just drive by, I think, and probably think, well, there's some granite blocks set up. Well, it's kind of, well, what I've heard is it's somewhat of a miniature Stonehenge. The, the other things that are very mysterious about it is the astrological type of things that are done with it. For instance, on this center block, they're very strategically set in a, in a, um, they say you can tell time by it, like a sundial. They're not just set out in a field randomly. There was a lot of there was a lot of planning that went into these. And for instance, this is what I was going to say: is this hole? You see this hole here in the center? Well, it's not just a hole; it's a you can see through it. It goes through the other side. And at any given night, when the skies are are clear, through this hole you will be able to see the star Polaris. The star Polaris is our northernmost, or is our northern star. So when people talk about the North Star, they're talking about the star Polaris. Through that hole, you can always see Polaris. I have a lot more to say about that, but I'm not gonna say it on this channel because that's, that's not the, the intent. There are other, there are other things that are significant that aren't just random things cut into the stone. There are up here. You see there's these, this, this hole here. I believe this may be one of those that will give you a time reference or something like that. There's a hole in it. There's a slot and a hole. Right here is, is some slots. Some of these correspond with the moon phases. Some of the, the shapes of this correspond with the moon phases. Um, a lot of different interpretations of things. For instance, again, don't let me get, don't let me lose you in my trying to explain this, but the, uh, some of these are very self-explanatory, but yet some of them are, are, are not. So they're open to somewhat of an interpretation. Here's the one, two, three, when you unite humanity with a living new language. What does that mean? We all have languages. 
protect people and its nations with fair laws and just courts. That one's pretty easy. That seems like, yeah, that's, 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 what, that's what should be. And then here's the next one under that. Let all nations rule internally, resolving external disputes in a world court. Boy, does that cons drive the conspiracy. World court, world. You know, you hear when, when you hear things about uh, one new world orders and things like that. Uh, you know, you, you, you get people, they'll run wild with it. We don't know what the intent of this man who, who built these was, but one thing that we do know is that they're very, there was a lot of thought put into them as far as the structure of the architecture or the way they were designed and put up due to the astro astrological, uh, how it lines up with astrology how it lines up with the moon phases, how it lines up with Polaris through that hole. You would have to be pretty dead on to get it to do that. And when you say there's a lot that went to it in the, uh, in the engineering of how to get them in the right places, then you would say, what about those things that are written on there? What about that? So that's where the conspiratory part of this le lies, is there's so much that was involved in the construction maybe there's something within those writings that is deeper than we think maybe it's not some crazy guy that just put something on granite maybe it's something to it who knows but you do notice all the different languages arabic looks like chinese or japanese or korean or something some asian language um i don't know what I do know is I wanted to come check this out and uh, show it to you guys. Check it out. You can go to any conspiratory ch channel and look at Georgia Guidestones and you will find a plethora of reasons, of things that could or may not be true. But why are they here? Why did someone spend so much money and time? By the way, they weigh 119 tons. That's so much, how much granite is here. 119 tons. So with that thought, I guess I'll leave you. And uh, let's see. Just wanted to stop by here and just take a few minutes and talk to you about that. What about that? Let me know in the comments what do you think about the Georgia Guidestones. Are they some creepy occult bent uh, structure that was put here by the devil, you know? Or is it something that some man schemed up in his mind? There's my phone going off. Is it something that some man schemed up in his mind that he wanted? Who knows? I don't know. But all I do know is if you don't get off your couch, turn off the video games, and explore, you'll never see things like this. So go out, have fun, and make your life an adventure. Hey guys, take care. We'll see you next time. Bye.